Hey everyone, my name's Goldfire Prime, and welcome back to the show. So today what I have for you guys is something that's far, far from the norm to what I usually review. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Paw Patrol on Roll Marshall Fire Truck. Now, if you had watched the channel, you may have known that I kind of have a small obsession with Marshall. Now, look, back in 2013, when Paw Patrol first came out, I used to watch that show all the time, and like many preschool shows, I used to watch, like Dora, I simply just grown out of it, that's why I never talked about it in Bumble Bastion, it wasn't until I heard that Paw Patrol was gaining a new movie, and so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna start to watch Paw Patrol again, and so, yeah, Marshall just really grown on me and became, like, my new favorite character, and my favorite character back when I used to watch Paw Patrol was Rubble, and also how Paw Patrol, like, it really helped me go through, like, uh, it's a hard time where my channel Bone Bastion got taken down, so that's one thing about Paw Patrol that really means something to me. So anyways, why don't we get on to the review, so here we have Marshall. The Now, this isn't the figure that the honor roll Marshall fire truck comes with no, no no it's a different figure that has Marshall in the same pose but this one it's different I believe it's from like another Marshall fire truck where on the back it had like two uh, water cannons that uh, flip up like I don't really know so this one's different because it has some more articulation, which we'll get to in a bit. So anyways, for detail, he does have a really nice head sculpt. And really nice paint apps. Got his eyes that are painted in blue. His nose and spots that are painted in black. So it was this little light on his helmet. And he got the little Paw Patrol logo on his helmet as well. And he got his little collar. Like this part, it's painted in yellow. And this one where it's like the charm, if you will. It's in a silver. More spots around the legs. And some sewer paint ups on his backpack or pup pack, as they call it in the show. And he do got his little uh, fire emblem molded on. So for articulation, he does have a swivel of the neck, individual swivels on all four of the legs. Yeah, that's right. All four of the legs are individually articulated, which is really nice. It's really something for a toy that's meant for like four-year-olds. So anyways, why don't we get on to fire truck itself. So... Here we have Marshall's fire truck in the doghouse mode. And that's like the unique gimmick with these on roll Paw Patrol vehicles. How they have it in doghouse mode and then later it could turn to like the actual vehicles. So yeah, this entire front section, it's painted in silver. Guy number three printed on. Got some stickers with like stripe number three, his fire emblem, and on the back, got some silver paint ups all around, and caution tape like around here, and with the same number three and such. Same goes with the other side, and yeah. Pretty much all there is to is the doghouse mode. Now, why don't we get on to 
the actual gimmick itself. So anyways, you get the Marshall figure and you just put it right here. And then I'm going to have it all the way back. Ugh. I need to pan my camera back too because I don't think I'll have enough room for this. So anyways, you push down and watch it go. Oh, there you go. So, yeah. As you push the top, the doghouse then rolls and transforms into Marshall's fire truck, which is really cool, especially for a preschool toy. And it makes siren sounds too. And also if you push down it again, it does make some other sound effects. Yeah, it makes an engine sound and then uh, siren. Let's try it again. Alright, it also does a honking. And yeah, the other sound effect that we just covered. So, in fire truck mode, it looks really cool. It rolls pretty well. Because, of course, it has to roll well. I mean, like, little kids should be able to, like, roll it around the floor and such. So, anyways. This fire truck does have this ladder, which is on spring, of course. Springs up and down, up and down. Yeah. Hours of fun, just like messing with the spring-loaded parts that are for transformation. And that's one of the reasons why I I chose this toy in particular. Like this Paw Patrol toy in particular to review because it, it has elements of transformation that you'll see in like Transformer toys. And no, I don't have every single Paw Patrol toy. I only have this and that Marshall. Okay, I'm, I'm only getting Marshall because he's my favorite character. And I mostly like Paw Patrol as a show, as a movie, you know. So anyways, you do got some painted silver paint apps right here. Like, showing a bit of, like, mechanical detail, if you will. And... You see more, of like, the sticker with the stripes. And also, there's another sticker right here on... The ladder and yeah so why don't we get on to some size comparison so everyone here is Marshall and his fire truck next to Sentinel Prime and of course it's way bigger like it is monumental compared to Sentinel Prime like if Marshall was like a, a bad guy after listening to Billy Eilish, then he, he would run over Sentinel Prime on the spot. And the Autobots don't even have to worry about like that huge fight in Chicago back in 2011. And why don't we get, guess it, Marshall Plushie. So here he is next to the Marshall Plushie and of course... Marshall plushie is like way bigger and yeah seeing all these Marshall merchandise yeah he it, it shows that Marshall's like my favorite character in Paw Patrol at least is my favorite character now because you know I said my favorite character in Paw Patrol back when I used to watch the show was Rubble, but now it's Marshall because he just really grew it on me, you know? After seeing all of his merchandise once the movie came out. And also how we're both kind of clumsy. How Marshall keeps on having mishaps in the elevator while I, every time I walk in the hallway in the house, I keep on hitting my shoulder on the door jams. So... Yeah. Anyways, what are my final thoughts on Paw Patrol on a roll, Marshall Fire Truck? Well, I think it's a really good toy. It's 
very nice. And yeah, I highly recommend it if you could get a hold of one of these. But anyways, that's it for this video. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never hit miss out on any of my new videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.